t-test is a very simple statistical test and it has only four different types but these different types they are also known for so many different names and this makes it confusing so in this video first we will know the difference between one and two tail statistical tests and we will discuss the different types of t-test and we will learn how to perform one sample t-test and pair t-test in R with examples So let's start with the difference between one and two tail tests. We want hypothesis testing to determine if our claim is true or not. So we have the null hypothesis and we have the alternative hypothesis. To explain this, let's go with this example. We have two groups, male and female, and we measure their height. Then we calculate the mean of each group and calculate the mean difference. So the null hypothesis assumes that the mean difference is equal to zero, which means that there is no difference in height between male and female. On the other hand, alternative hypothesis assumes that the mean here is either less or more than zero. But alternative hypothesis is a little bit complicated. So we have the one-tailed, and two tailed and in one tailed we have lower tailed and upper tailed so let's start with the one tail so one tail test from its name it only measures the effect in one direction so the null hypothesis assumes that the mean difference is equal to zero in upper tail it assumes that the mean difference is more than zero so it measures the effect only if the mean difference is more than zero in lower tail test, it assumes that the mean difference is less than zero. So it measures the effect only if the mean difference is less than zero. So if we are screening for cytotoxic drug, we are only interested if the mean of the drug is less than the mean of the control. So here we are measuring the cell viability and we are interested if the drug is killing the cell. So the mean difference should be less than zero. In that case, we can use the lower tail test. On the other hand, if we are screening for neuroprotective drug, we are only interested if the mean drug is more than the mean of the control. So here we have the cell viability. We are interested if the drug increases the cell proliferation. So in that case, we can use the upper tail test. But if we are screening for both effect so we are interested both if the drug increase or decrease the cell viability so in this case we use two tail tests which assume that the mean difference is not equal to zero it can be more than zero or less than zero i summarize everything here so now we are moving to t-test so we will learn the four different types of t-test So t-test compares the means of two groups. It's used to study if there is a statistical difference between two groups. In statistical test, if we have two groups, it can either be parametric or non-parametric, according to the data distribution. T-test falls under the parametric test, which means that it only applies if the data is normally distributed. The simplest t-test is one sample t-test. If you have one sample and you want to compare it to a known mean, you can use the 1t test. We will go into detail with example later. According to your groups, if they are dependent, you can use the pair t test or also called dependent t test. And if completely independent, you can use the unpaired t test or also called independent t test. So independent t test has two options. So if your samples, they are equal, in size and variance, you can use the student t-test or also known as equal variance t-test to sample t-test. And if your sample unequal in size and variance, you can use the Welsh t-test or also called unequal variance t-test. So these two also called independent t-test or unpaired t-test. 
So we have only four types, one sample t-test, pair t-test, student t-test, and Welsh t-test. In this video, we will discuss these two, and next video, we will discuss these two. So in summary, t-test has four types. One sample t-test is for one sample, pair t-test is for dependent samples, and student t-test is when the sample size and variance are equal, and Welsh t-test when the sample size and variance are different. So we came to our last section, how to perform one sample and pair t-test in R. To perform any t-test in R, we need to use the t-test function. So let's start with the one sample t-test. One sample t-test compares the mean of one sample to a known mean, for example, from a previous study or from hypothetical mean. So when we use the t-test function in R for one sample test, we need to specify the mu. By default, it's equal to zero, but you can change it. So our mean, which could be from a known mean or from hypothetical mean, should be mentioned here. Also, as I mentioned, earlier, each statistical test can be one-tailed or two-tailed. So we can specify this also here. By default, it's two-tailed, alternative equal to two-sided. So we don't need to mention this. So if we want to specify a direction, so we want to use one-tailed test, we can use greater for upper tail test or less for lower tail test. So if you, if you don't know, just always don't write anything because by default it's two-sided, so it can measure both directions. So if we go to the R Studio, here we measure the height of five random male in centimeter. So we have this measurement and we create a vector and assigning it to height. So let's create this vector. Now, from previous study, we know that the average male height is equal to 172. So we want to compare if there is a significant difference in these five males compared to the corded average. So we are going to use the t-test function. We are writing our vector here and we are specifying mu is equal to 172. So let's run it. And as we can see here, the p-value is significant, it's less than 0 0.05, which means that these five people, their height is more than the average. So here we didn't specify the alternative hypothesis because it's already by default to tell test. So if we specify it, for example, less. So, and let's specify the mu is 172. So we only here interested if the our five random male, if their height, if the mean height is less than the average. So if we run this, and we can see here, there is no significant difference. P-value is almost equal to one. So if you specify, it only measure in one direction. If you don't specify, it measure in two direction. So let's go to pair test. Pair t-test, it compares the means between two related samples. So each subject is measured twice. So for example, body weight, we can measure the pre-body weight before the study and post-body weight after the study. So for this example, we are going to download a data from a website and we are going to use the t-test here and we will use the argument paired equal true for the pair test. And since we have two samples, we will use x and y. X for the first measurement, pre-weight, and Y for the second measurement, post-weight. So I put the link for this database. So after you download the CSV file, let's go and import it to R. So for example, it's called anorexia, and I'm uploading it. So here we have our table. It has three different treatments and it measures the pre and post weight. So here I'm going only to calculate the significant difference in one treatment, and you can do the other two by yourself. 
So first what we will do is we will use the subset function to get the pre-weight of the first treatment. So we need to specify first which table we want to use, then which column we want to subset and which option. So we have in treatment, we have three options. So I'm gonna just select the first one. And I'm saying I want the pre-weight. So I want the pre-weight of the first treatment. And I want to convert the data frame because it's in the table to a vector because in t-test we use vector as we saw here in the first example. So this is the uh, pre-weight. For the post-weight, we will subset same. We will use the same table, the same treatment, but here we are asking for the post-treatment values. And also we are converting the data frame to vector. So let's do that. Now we will use the t-test function. We will write A is the pre-weight, B, the post weight and we are saying paired equal true because these two samples they are dependent to each other so let's run it and as we can see here the p value is equal to 0 0.7 which is not significant next video we will learn how to perform student and welsh t-test in r with examples thank you for watching